Hello. Today I wanted to talk about a film um, well, before the year ends that is uh, 45 years old this year. Um, I talked about the first installment of this franchise um, uh, yeah, a few times on this channel. Um, it was one of the first, uh, <laughs> I, I believe, of wasn't it that I intended it to be, but it, like, I think it was one of the first videos that I did for this series of me just discussing movies. Um, <clears throat> and then I talked about that film uh, most definitely again uh, for its uh, 45th anniversary. Um, pretty short. Um, and so this uh, sequel is, uh, to that film is obviously... Uh, is Jaws 2, the 45th anniversary edition. And um, this is an excellent uh, Blu-ray and 4K Blu-ray uh, set. I didn't get this film on Blu-ray before. Um, don't know why. Um, of all the sequels to Jaws, this is clearly the best. Um, this is definitely not better than the first film, but I really you know, enjoy this film quite a bit. Um, uh, you know, according to the back of this, this is, you know, four years after the great white shark terrorized the small, the small resort of Amity, unsuspecting vacationers began disappearing in all too familiar fashion. Police Chief Brody finds himself in a race against time, and, uh, new shark attacks, uh, ten sailboats by teenagers, including his own two sons. Uh, the same heartbeats uh, or heart-stopping suspense and gripping adventure that enthralled movie audiences throughout the world and Jaws returns in this worthy sequel to the original motion picture classic. And, uh, yes, uh, in this film, uh, Roy Scheider returns as uh, Chief Martin Brody, albeit reluctantly. Um, I think anybody who has seen this film and... Um, knows anything about the history of this film uh the, he he was not fond of the idea of returning because he's like you know i'm not going to be the star in the next and the and the sequel to jaws because it's just going to be about the shark people are going to be more interested in the shark than me um which i guess to a degree is true though for me, I when I saw these films, uh, the sequels, uh, and in this, I, I I really like the Chief Brody character in the original film. I know everybody loves Quint, uh, especially because of Robert Shaw's character, and believe me, I love Quint too. But Chief Brody was always my favorite character in that film, and he still is in this film. Also, before we go any further, I want to just point out my shirt. Gonna need a bigger boat. I got this uh, this year. I also uh, have another sh uh, shirt. It's a uh, Amity Island swim team, uh, since, uh, established since 1975, and has a shark fin on it. I wore that in the last episode, though that was about Christmas story, hence why I didn't really point it out, since it was uh, not exactly a, a Christmas related uh, shirt. Um, though one of the sequels, uh, is absolutely in the Christmas setting, so technically that's a Christmas film, considering, you know, any film that takes place on or around Christmas time is an automatic Christmas film these days. Um, but back to the fact that, uh, Roy Scheider, you know, he, you know, he, the reason why he wasn't fond of uh, being in this, aside from uh, that, was uh, basically he was forced to be in this film because he was supposed to be in The Deer Hunter. He was going to be uh, yeah, Mike in The Deer Hunter, Robert De Niro's character. But he had some uh, creative differences uh, about how his character should be, and... Um, uh, if I talk about that film some point, I, it'd probably be good if I uh, sort of address it there. 
So I guess I will just sort of uh, uh, save what all went on behind the scenes on that film there. But essentially, he was supposed to do that film, and because he dropped out because of creative differences, Universal wasn't happy because he, he had like a, I believe it was a three-film contract. And so, uh, they, uh, said if he did Jaws 2, they would count that as the, uh, remaining two films, because he already fulfilled, uh, one film of their contract, so he had two more, but they would count this as two movies if he did it, so, considering, you know, he, uh, at that point, you know, him being potentially, uh, <laughs> Trying to patch things up with the deer hunter was no doubt uh, long gone. He's like, all right, fine. And the, this film had an original director, but after a while, he, for various reasons, he was let go. And so, uh, on the on a, there's a YouTube channel here. Um, regarding Jaws and the Jaws franchise. Uh, um, uh, that uh, kind of they went in this year on having various interviews with people involved with Jaws 2, including the original um, director. And if I recall correctly, I shall uh, put in a link to that video in the uh, not just the description, but uh, hopefully in the pinned comment. But if not, I will absolutely make sure to put that in the description for sure. So if you don't see a pinned comment with with that, then uh, the um, you know the link should actually be in the description. Um, and he kind of talks about what all what ha what happened and why. Um, He was let go. I believe his name was Dick Warlock, but I could be wrong. So, um, but uh, because of that, uh, and I believe they actually did film a good amount of uh, the film uh, already. But then things happen, and so he eventually just got replaced. And the the next director was. Zinaj Schwark, S Z W A R C. Uh, he's a Frenchman. Uh, he's a French filmmaker, and uh, he basically, you know, when he arrived, um, you know, obviously Roy Scheider was not happy being in this film up to begin with. But it sounds like Roy Scheider and the that the original director seemed to got, get along quite well. So when uh, that director was let go and a new director was brought on board, Roy Scheider just, that, that made Roy Scheider from going from a, uh, unhappy to just be involved with this to now even being more unhappy. And there was a point where they got into a fight and it's just, you know, they eventually things uh, settled down, but, you know, they uh, were able to, make the film and interestingly uh many have pointed this out with the revelation of his unhappiness to be in this film but uh you know uh his performance was sort of i guess enhanced in a way because he because of how un you know reluctant he was to return and how he didn't want to be there and that kind of helped his performance in this sort of manic man because you know, this a shark has. Uh, he, he knows a shark has come to Amity again, and you know people are disappearing. First, people who were at the wreck of the Orca, the bottom of the sea, because that seems to be a popular tourist area attraction. Um, at least out locals and others who heard about it. So they go underwater, find the Orca, the, the wreck of. Uh, orca and they uh were taking pictures and they you know then got eaten by the shark but then the the camera keeps taking pictures and 
eventually the, the pictures are developed and then Brody sees basically like part of the shark, you know, the eye and part of the mouth and but he goes to uh, show this to uh, the mayor and some other essential people of the town and they don't see it. Uh, and so, yeah. Um, Lorraine Gary uh, also returns as uh, Ellen Brody. Amber uh, Hamilton returns as uh, uh, Mayor Vaughn. Um, there is mention of Matt Hooper, but he, uh, but Richard Dreyfus didn't return, mainly because on one hand, um, around the time they were going to make this film originally, uh, Spielberg and uh, Dreyfus were making Close Encounters of the Third Kind. So on that hand, on one hand, he's like, yeah, they were going to do that, so he's not going to have a cameo in this film. And uh, there was a time where uh, Spielberg did think about doing a sequel to Jaws. You know, he wasn't sure, but he's like, well, maybe I could do that. Um, though part of him also wanted to make a prequel about uh, Quint on the USS Indianapolis. Uh, of course, that never happened. And, um, and while for a while he was considering doing, making the sequel to Jaws, he got also kind of thought, you know, I've made the definitive shark film. So, you know, uh, you know, in a way, I can't really improve. So, with that, so I'm going to leave it alone. And I think, in a way, that was for the best. I mean, would this film have been better if Spielberg made it? Uh, perhaps. Um, but this film is actually quite good. Um, and if you have never seen this film, uh, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's a very good film. Uh, I won't spoil it. Um, or even if you have seen it before, maybe it's been a while since you have watched it. So I'd say give it a rewatch. It's quite good. Um, you know, it is a little more focused on teenagers and, um, you know, sailing because, you know, they're on an island. Um, so, uh, you know, where other places, other cities, uh, towns, you know, you'd have, uh, you know, teenagers driving around. Um, in this, uh, you know, in this film, they're sailing. And, um, you know, it says, you know, and so this film takes place technically in 1979. And I know that because, well, yeah, well, Brody's has a thing called a Man of the Year 1975. Though, I guess, now that I just said that, it could be that the events of Jaws took place in 74. And this takes place in 78. And I just gave man of the year the year after <laughs> like after the entire year was done 1975 they gave Brody man of the year for Amity Island basically and there's like a little thing on his desk with the shark jaws uh, on it in gold so but yeah uh, four years later so Michael Brody is 17 um would mean if I could do math backwards right. It would have been about uh, yeah, 13 in the uh, first film. I know that was hard and difficult, but, you know, I got to make sure I'm, you know, doing it correctly because, you know, even sometimes the simplest things, you know, just when you believe you know for a fact, is, is that it? it? And just something just in your brain is like, no, that's not right. And then, but then when you think about it a bit more, it's like, no, that was right. And I was just second guessing myself for really no reason. Anyway, uh. Sean looks like he's uh, about 13 in, in this film. Like he's like 12 or so. 12, 13. Uh, 
so he's like a five years or so younger than <coughs> Michael but yeah this is a really good sequel um, perhaps even a better sequel than it really needs to be <laughs> considering how excellent Jaws is you know Jaws didn't need a sequel you know it wasn't like Star Wars or any of these other films where there's sort of a setup for the potential for future films you know there wasn't like a family of sharks in the first film that they were you know for a fact okay one's dead but there's at least one more or two <laughs> or three or whatever uh, out there but you know for an unnecessary sequel this is pretty good and I think uh, uh, again if you haven't watched it before it is absolutely worth watching and if it's been a while since you've seen it uh, check it out. It's absolutely not a bad watch. Um, and with that, I hope uh, this video was somewhat interesting. I know I got to this uh, film later in the year than I intended, but, you know, there's other films I also wanted to get through, and sometimes certain things get kind of pushed back, and, uh, yeah. And also, I did go to uh, I, uh, years to go. Yeah, I went to uh, uh, Navarre Beach, which is where they shot uh, Jaws Two. They also uh, also in that area, like uh, like Pensacola and all that. So uh, yeah, I actually got to go, go to the area where they made Jaws 2. Um, obviously, there's a... I didn't go to see exactly, you know, location scanning. Like, here is exactly where Jaws... This part in Jaws 2 was... You know, others have done that. Um, I don't know if I ever will do that. Like, I'm sure at some point, again, I'll go to... Uh, Pensacola or... Well, Navarre Beach specifically again at some point in the future. Um, but, you know, might, you know, make a video or two here or there. But I don't know if I would do a, a vacation or a location video, uh, mainly because I would be on vacation there, you know, with family. So he's like, you know, you kind of want to spend time with family and also just enjoy all that even if you're making a video your, your main priority is to just enjoy the vacation so yeah um yeah i love uh i actually really do love this film not better than jaws one but jaws two is not a bad film uh it is absolutely worth watching if anything it would be the only sequel i think that would be uh, uh, worth watching for Jaws. Three and four, yeah, not so great, but I might talk about uh, those some other time. I have those on DVD, um, just like I have the first two on DVD, though the, then the first one I got on Blu-ray, then 4K Blu-ray, and same with... Uh, Got this obviously 4K Blu. I never got this on just normal Blu-ray. I don't know why. I actually intended to before, but I just never got it around to getting it. But you know, this came out this year, so I thought, why not? And it also wasn't all that expensive, so uh, even better. Um, so yeah, I. Uh, Again, I hope this video uh, uh, was somewhat interesting. <clears throat> I hope uh, all of you are <clears throat> excuse me, doing well. You can probably find the uh, Navarre Beach video on my channel. I don't know if I'll remember to put that in the description or anything, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope all of you are doing well. Hope all of you are, have had a great week. Hope your Christmas was good and the 
year is ending. I hope your year has been <clears throat> overall good. And I'll probably do one more video about the various films I have uh, gotten since the last time I did an update. So, yeah, that's going to be uh, quite big because it's been uh, many months now. But I hope that'll be worth it. Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope all of you are, again, doing good. Hope your week has been great, and uh, your weekend will be good. And I hope uh, the rest of your year shall be good. Uh, yeah. Anyway, until next time, uh, please take care, and... Uh, have a great day and a great weekend.